From here, walk straight to the main entrance, hang a right at the big orange pathway, and- To date, many people still find the idea of humanoid robots that look and move like humans a little creepy. But now scientists have just gone a step further, as they are now designing the internal systems of robots to function like human bodies too. In this research that was inspired by the human circulatory system, engineers have developed a liquid energy storage and delivery system that could transform the way robots are powered. And before we get into how this amazing new technology works, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more breakthroughs in science and robotics. So for those who follow on robotics, you know that powering mobile robots has always been a challenge. Traditional batteries are heavy, limiting a robot's mobility and performance while energy harvesting technologies like solar panels are inconsistent and can't keep up with the demands of high speed movement or power hungry functions. To tackle this problem, researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison have taken a closer look at nature and specifically how blood carries oxygen throughout our bodies. Just like how hemoglobin in red blood cells stores and delivers oxygen where it's needed. The team has created a liquid system that can store and deliver oxygen directly into a robot's energy system, increasing its efficiency, meaning robots can now have a longer runtime. So instead of relying on conventional methods where oxygen reacts only on the surface of an electrode, this new system injects oxygen directly into a special liquid electrolyte using an emulsion of silicone oil in water. This emulsion behaves similarly to blood. It holds much more oxygen than pure water and releases it more efficiently. With only 20% silicone oil, the emulsion can store twice as much dissolved oxygen compared to traditional potassium hydroxide solutions used in batteries today. That means more energy can be extracted from the same volume of liquid and reactions happen faster, allowing for more consistent and powerful energy delivery. The clever part is how they balance the silicone oil and water. Too much oil and ions can't move well through the liquid. Too little oil and the oxygen storage drops. The best ration turned out to be a 20% oil to water ratio, which maintains high oxygen solubility and strong ion movement. The result is a highly reactive liquid that behaves like synthetic blood, able to carry oxygen throughout a robotic system. This allows robots to potentially operate longer, react faster, and carry less dead weight in the form of heavy batteries. This innovation builds on earlier work, where the same research group created a synthetic vascular system for a soft robot shaped like a fish. In that project, the liquid was used to store energy and also to drive movement, functioning as both fuel and muscle. Now they've taken that concept even further. Instead of using expensive or unstable fluorinated chemicals like in old synthetic blood experiments, they found that silicone oil offered better stability and long-term performance. What we know so far is that the researchers want to explore pairing this oxygen-rich catholite with a liquid anode. That means the entire power system, both positive and negative sides, could be made entirely of liquids, allowing for even more flexible and efficient robotic platforms. It's like giving robots their own artificial bloodstream, one that fuels them from the very air around them. This approach could be the foundation for lighter, faster, and more adaptive machines, making robots more human-like. 